Christian Eriksen signed for a free for Manchester United this summer transfer window after helping Brentford stave off relegation and this season he might just help Manchester United grab top 4. Welcome back to Filter Coffee Football. We are here to talk about why Christian Eriksen is so important for Erik ten Hag's Manchester United. It is easy to see how much Erik ten Hag values Christian Eriksen given that he is only one of 7 players to have started every single game for Manchester United so far this season. But what does he actually bring to the team and what makes him so indispensable to this setup? Now on first glance his numbers don't really pop. His most important contribution is probably the fact that he is the third highest goal contributor for this United team so far this season. But where he really helps solve that problem is deeper down in that midfield. For the longest time Manchester United have played with Fred and McTominay in midfield with Nemanja Matić also playing an important role for a short while there. Because of the lack of passing ability in that midfield, Pogba and Bruno Fernandes have often had to drop in deep, again sacrificing their attacking role in the team. I mean, last season Pogba had his best role out there on that wide left at the start of the season, following a pretty steep drop as the season went on. And Bruno Fernandes also had a really poor season, a lot of it down to the fact that he wasn't really up front and contributing as much and playing a lot deeper role because there were just no progressors in that midfield. Eriksen solves that problem for Ten Hag. His preferred position is farther up that field in that number 10 role, but given his age and experience, he has adapted himself to dropping deeper in that midfield and spraying more longer passes and allowing United to actually transition during those key counter-attacks which famously saw them win against both Liverpool and Arsenal in the Premier League this season. His impact is also super obvious to see in that match against Real Sociedad. The first half Manchester United were right on top and Christian Eriksen was the hub of all the passing and all the chance creation that United had to offer. Ten Hag took him off in the second half probably due to fitness reasons and United dropped off a cliff eventually losing that match one goal to zero. Given his medical issues his fitness was always going to be a concern but he has been a workhorse in this United midfield working hard off the ball pressing high and actually contributing defensively as well although to not quite as high an extent. But that is why they have players like Fred and Casemiro in the team who can do that leg work that Eriksen may not be able to offer when pulling back in defense. Yet with all things considered that lung busting run against Arsenal which eventually led to an assist for Marcus Rashford's third goal in the game shows that Eriksen is definitely not shy to run the distance when it is needed of him. The other key thing to note is Bruno Fernandes has been in absolutely phenomenal form and the key reason for that is he has been able to operate in those forward areas creating important chances and actually being on the end of some goals to finish them off as well. Lisandro Martinez has also proved to be another source of passing from deep for this team, but Eriksen being in the midfield has allowed Martinez to drop back in his more natural center back role and bolster the back line, making United one of the more harder defenses to face up against. United have still not hit consistent form this season, but with Eriksen getting used to his role, we believe that they can still challenge for top 4 come the end of the season. But that's our two cents. Let us know who you think United's most important player is for this season and whether they can actually challenge for top 4. And please hit that like, share and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. See you guys next time.